So before I tell you what happened on Sunday, let me tell you what didn't happen on Sunday. In preparation for this week's show, I didn't go to the Christian page on the Guardian website, and when I wasn't there, I didn't find these headlines. Joel Osteen hates Jews, and I have proof. The Pope thinks gay people are gross. Christians must accept that they're almost certainly wrong. And I may believe in Jesus, but that doesn't make me a Christian. And what's more, I wasn't surprised when I didn't find those headlines while I wasn't looking for them, because what kind of tampon stain would print headlines like that on a Christian news aggregator? They wouldn't, because they'd have to be total assholes. All right, so for Act 2, let me tell you what I did do on Sunday. I went to the Atheist page on the Guardian website, and when I was there, here's the headlines that I did find. Dawkins' latest anti-Muslim Twitter spat lays bare his hypocrisy. Sam Harris, new atheists, and the anti-Muslim animus. The secular must accept that religion can save. I may not have faith, but that doesn't make me an atheist. Now, I didn't just cherry-pick the bad headlines, by the way. Those were the top four on the page. That's what The Guardian was giving the atheists to read. Now, they've got pages for all your major faith groups. The lead headline in Christianity was, At Easter, the tortured face of God teaches us to love our fellow man. This is almost four weeks after Easter, mind you. The lead story on the Islam page was, America's greatest asset against radicalization are American Muslims. And on the Judaism page, the first offering was, Poland's Generation Unexpected leads resurgence in Jewish culture. Amazingly, in more than a dozen different faith-by-faith breakdowns, none of them lead off with a story where one of the most prominent and respected members of the group is smeared as a bigot on the thinnest shred of dubious evidence, but since atheism isn't a faith group, they can lead off with not one such story, but two. As to the accusations against Dawkins, they're the same ridiculous bullshit as always. He says that Muslims are stupid because they believe a human being rode to heaven on a flying horse, and that makes him an Islamophobe. The fact that he also thinks that Christians are stupid for believing a zombie army wandered into Jerusalem doesn't make him a Christophobe, of course, and the fact that he thinks Jews are stupid for believing that Jacob out-wrestled vampire God doesn't make him a Jewophobe, and the fact that he said astrologers are stupid for believing that the relative positions of planets will adversely affect their financial situation doesn't make him an astrologophobe, but if you think Muslim beliefs are stupid, it's because you're scared of them. The accusations against Sam Harris are only slightly less specious. He's pointing out that a lot of terrorism comes from Muslim extremists, so clearly he hates Muslims. You know, he'll also point out that when the car's running low, it needs to be filled up, so clearly he hates petroleum-producing nations. And when he points out that his stake is more of a mid-rare than a medium, it could only be because of his irrational and seething hatred of cows. These accusations aren't new, of course, and they're hardly worth refuting. Anyone who achieves prominence in this or any other social movement will be attacked by jackasses who are trying to make a name for themselves. There's nothing new or noteworthy about that. But there is something to be said for a major media outlet that runs a page dedicated to atheist readers and then loads it up with character assassination pieces from wingnuts. Then they follow those up with a great op-ed about how secular people need to really accept the fact that their entire movement is wrong and religion is actually right. And finally, a piece on how miserable it must be to be an atheist. It's nice to have a page of our own, isn't it? Look, atheism's not a religion, and atheists aren't a faith group. You'll never hear me or any other atheists make the kind of absurd bullshit demands of respect you hear from religious people. You'll never hear us issuing death threats for drawing images of Christopher Hitchens or taking Dan Dennett's name in vain. You'll never hear atheists demanding that anyone capitalize the H in her when they're talking about Madeline Murray O'Hare. And you'll never hear us declare war on somebody for not believing that the magical calamari really turns into the body of P.Z. Myers. But I do think it's fair to ask that we're treated with the same respect that would be afforded to any other group of human beings. There were no stories at all in the other faith sections defaming prominent figures as bigots, and let's face it, you wouldn't have to do a hell of a lot of digging to find stories like those if you were looking for them. Hell, you wouldn't have to weave together strands of suspect bullshit to get there like they had to with Harris and Dawkins. I was so angry about it that I thought about dropping The Guardian altogether as a news source for this program. But then I remembered that they were the only outlet I saw last week that covered the exploding Spanish dildo headlines, so they're off the hook. But I'm still really pissed.